Hello everybody. I hope you are um, you're doing well. Uh, and also I wanted to share something that I think it's very common uh, maybe around this time of the year for um, those of us that maybe live in the cold weather. Uh, also after the holidays, sometimes uh, we feel this sentimental um, just sensation that it can sometimes uh, make us feel a little bit low or maybe sad. And I know that a lot of us work really hard and I hope all of us can find ways to stay connected and also to find more happiness in life. I know sometimes we have very difficult moments, uh, but I have found something very useful because yes, I have had many difficult times and I know a lot of us have had, especially with the pandemic, uh, family issues, relationships, work, uh, financially, uh, maybe health-wise. And we're constantly being challenged by a lot of things that can, um, you know, can actually break us. And it's really hard to get out of that cycle. So I do try to work really hard on uh, keeping my mental health and also the mental health of my family because I do have children in the house. And I know it's something that we all have to learn how to cope, uh, learn new ways and different ways to um, you know, stay happy and find ways to maybe get out of that cycle of not feeling our best mentally and emotionally. So I wanted to share something very valuable. Um, I thought that it was very good for me to share with all of you and maybe you can find it also helpful. So recently I watched a documentary on Netflix uh, and it was actually followed by a book that I read that it was called The Tools. So this was uh, something that can be used for emotional uh, intelligence, also for, um, you know, to learn ways to stay happier uh, and also just to transform your pain into a potential, something that can turn into something really good for us. So believe it or not, when we are going through different and difficult moments, if we can switch that and be connected with ourselves and look at the situation in a positive way, we can actually grow and we can become stronger and we can find purpose in a lot of these challenges. So that's something that I'm actually trying to understand, apply, and I feel like it has really helped me. So this documentary um, was by Jonah Hill. He's an actor and is a documentary about him and his therapist. Um, whose last name is Stutz. So the name of the documentary is called Stutz. You can look it up on, uh, on Netflix. And it teaches a lot of tools that are very useful. But there was one specifically that resonated and I thought that I was, it was very valuable. So I wanted to share it with you. So for some of you and for some of us, uh, we tend to have this uh, black cloud that affects us emotionally. It's usually driven by thoughts and emotions uh, and it makes us really negative and sad and it's really hard to get out of that. So one of the tools that he showed was something called the grateful flow. So the grateful flow is actually a practice where you are able to um, understand and also bring a lot of things that you're grateful for when you are going through difficult moments. So it's not really only just about saying this or being thankful or grateful for things, but just transforming and the process itself will change your mood just by recognizing these things that are you're grateful for. So we're going to do a very simple exercise, which uh, I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes just like when we do breathing and meditation. So we're gonna close our eyes and I want you to think of two or three things that you're very grateful for, okay? So we're gonna do a very short breathing. So I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna breathe in and out. And I'm gonna mention three things that I'm really grateful for. My family and my children I'm really grateful for my family and my children. I'm also very grateful for nature, for everything that nature has to offer. 
And I'm also very grateful for, for love, for the love I feel for everybody around me. So as you bring these things into your brain and your mind, you have to continue to think of things. So you keep your eyes closed and you can keep thinking about things that you're grateful for, but you don't have to say them. So you just continue to think and think and think about things that you're very grateful for. It could be something very simple. And the smaller the things, the better. It doesn't have to be anything big. It could be your shoes you wear in the morning. It could be, uh, you know, just saying hi to your neighbors. Uh, maybe your dog or your pillow. You know, having a pillow in your bed and just the sensation that you feel when you're laying in your bed. Maybe having warm socks. There's things that are very, very simple. Maybe the sip of coffee in the morning. Anything that is grateful. So what starts happening, it's very interesting. So you go from a really, really cloudy sensation, negative feeling, to actually a breakthrough. So all these thoughts, it's like they break through a black cloud and then you finally see the sun and the light. You also feel this warm sensation and it's something that just allows you to be present. So I want you to practice this. And I also want you, if you can, if you can watch the documentary and maybe use this tool to practice this when you are feeling very low, you're feeling sad, you're feeling sentimental, maybe even depressed, and you're not very thankful and you're just not positive at all. And this can probably allow you to be more connected and make a transition of not allowing these thoughts and these feelings to take control of you. And you can actually take control of it and be able to change it and have the potential to use these situations and these feelings into something positive. To maybe see things that are better than what you actually are going through. A lot of good things that we go through every day. So this is something that I highly recommend. It's a tool that I'm working on. It's something new to me, but it's something that really, really helps me. And it's very, very, very powerful. So again, this is the grateful flow. And it's just one of the tools presented in the documentary. So I hope you're able to practice it. Just think of things that you're grateful for and you can do it in the morning when you first wake up and you will start your day with a different mindset and with a different mood. So I hope this was helpful uh, and I hope you get to practice this and take these as a powerful tool to change your life and feel happier. All right, guys, have a great week.